At Give Kids the World Village, ambassadors have a key role in providing education and support to children with life-threatening illnesses. Nearly eight years ago, Give Kids the World hosted Kellen Jackley and his family, who at the time were visiting from out of state. Today, he's a Floridian, a survivor, and paying it forward at the Kissimmee Resort. His message to his peers is getting results in our schools. Fans of the Florida Fanatics YouTube channel are familiar with 11-year-old Kellen Jackley's celebrity interviews. The Give Kids the World ambassador chats with famous visitors to the village. Obviously starstruck, but it's just like being next to a very famous person, asking them, asking them a few questions was awesome and I loved it so much. It was probably like the best thing that I've ever done. And like every host, Jack Lee has his favorite. Who has been your biggest inspiration? Oh, that's an easy one. So I have a great mother. Mark Long from The Challenge. It was just a really fun interview and I just love that interview so much. I don't really get uh, nervous. Uh, I kind of just roll with it. Jack Lee and his family first visited Give Kids the World in 2014 for a wish trip. I was actually uh, born with half a heart. Uh, and I had five open heart surgeries and all the medicine was like really yucky and it, it's, it was just re really, really scary. But Jack Lee says his life changed when he walked into the village for the first time. He created this painting depicting what Give Kids the World means to him. So all the darkness represents when I was in the hospital with yucky medicine and surgery. And all this light represents when I walked out to Give Kids World Village, and all that darkness is just fading away. After that life-changing trip, the Jackley family moved from Pennsylvania to be closer to the village and pay it forward. The original of this painting was actually auctioned for more than $8,000. I'm like, are you sure I'm like, that? That's, that can't be possible. With every cent going to Give Kids the World, bringing other families from darkness to light. You got this. Even if it's the worst medicine you have ever tasted or the worst surgery you've ever had, you just got this. You rock. You can get through it. Okay, so this is one of the rare mm -hmm. times that everybody in the studio is actually watching. You know, we're normally all working <laughs> during some of the stories, right. but he's just incredible. And in 2021, he received a humanitarian award from Disney for all of his work that he does. He does sell copies of that print. The best way to cop or contact him is through his Instagram. I've put that for you on clickorlando.com. All of the proceeds go back to Give Kids the World, and you'll want to subscribe to his YouTube channel because he tells me he's working on some other celebrity interviews. Ooh. He has some pretty big things cooking, so you won't want to miss that and his content on his YouTube channel is great and big shout out to Mark Long for connecting us because this has been one of the favorite stories I've done in a long time. Yeah, I know when you're excited when it's just yeah. like you're excited to start the interview, yeah. excited when you get out of the interview and it's just been just been a great road with, with him. Yes. And give kids the world. I mean, not only is, mm -hmm. is he amazing, but so is that yes. village. They just do so many wonderful things for the kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, every year, I mean, last year they started the A Night of a yes. Million Lights. It's been an amazing, uh, you know, fundraiser for, for that village. Thankfully, this year they're able to still host mm -hmm. and I have a million lights and still be able to host a lot yes. of families too. So it's just, if you have the opportunity to do some research into them, it's an amazing, mm -hmm. um, an amazing organization here in Central Florida. Yes, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm.